Hi, how was your day? Hoping that you are having a good one. Welcome to the Beanland Library podcast. My name is Vu. I'm very glad to be the first one to start out this series. Hoping that you will like it as much as I do. During these podcasts, the librarian will take turn introduce to you our new and favorite books, which might also caught your attention. So for me, I love books that depict sorrow, but still spark a glimpse of joy and hope. So today. I'm bringing you before I die. Let's come and have some short moment listening to my journey with this book. So, for all the moment that you and me have let slipping from our fingers, for all the cluster feeling that we have been caught into, those happen so often that from time to time we never try to patch an eye on them. Then we turn the pages in before I die, and all of a sudden. Everything would matter so much, from the breeze blowing through the leaves, the heartbeat we feel when we are close to our loved one, the tears rolling down from our eyes when we are hurt, to the urge not to turn another page of this book, as we know we don't want it to end. Before I die, a story of a girl who would soon left this world behind. She didn't know exactly when, but she knew. Before death come knocking at her door, she want her life to be exactly as she please. As a sixteen years old girl, Tessa felt that she had not had a chance to enjoy things. That's called life. And now, when the clock is ticking, she wanted more than ever to truly live. With a list of things to do in mind, she thrived for a lively moment. And to her realization, the things that matter were nowhere far away. To be honest, I myself was going through tough time. My heart was broken, and I sometimes think about that as it keep me away from the pain. As a medication for my broken heart, I prepare myself a getaway trip. Then I scroll through the library's collection, a book that I feel connected to, and there, in front of my eyes, a bright yellow cover of books with devastating title. Without a doubt, I put it in my inventory. I was hoping for something soulful, something that might draw me away from the dreadful feeling, and this book was beyond my expectation. On the seven-hour flight, with open pages on the tray table, I cried my heart out. Flipping through the books, I found it hard to keep myself together, to keep on reading without being interrupted by the growing pain, and by the tear that turned the pages blurry. However, Jenny Dalman, the author, never once made me feel that this journey was devastating. The pain that she carried between the lines, it was beautiful. It was precious to have. I don't want to spoil this book for anyone, so I just want you to be prepared before reading it. Keep in mind that it's okay to feel weak. It's fine to cry, and it's absolutely great to run to work and give your loved one a hug. I know you. I think. Don't be afraid," Tessa whispered through the car's window to a little girl on her first day to school, holding her mother's hand. That was a lovely moment. So that was my top journey on this book. If I leave you confused, then maybe come to a library and pick it up. I'm sure that you'll not regret it. Thank you for listening to our podcast. See you next time.